the M140. We all know it, we all love it. However, from the factory, I don't think they look that good. Now, I don't want to insult BMW with that comment because out of the factory, they're not actually that bad. But I do think they missed quite a few things that should have gone on and I think would personally make this look a lot better. And by better, I mean the little touches around the car that I think were missed from the factory. But if you are new to the channel, my name is Alex and this is my M140. And we're going to run around the car and give you a quick list of what we've already done to the car before we do some new stuff. So quickly running around the car, we have done the spoiler at the top. We have done the diffuser on the back with these carbon and performance tips. The rear spats, we have these side skirt extensions, mirror covers, a front splitter. We have deregged the front. We've put our own reg on. We have these nice little eyelids and we have a few interior bits that we did buy from Timu. If you want to check out that video, I'll put a link in the description or click up here. That'll be on there. That was a really funny video to make, but we have a few things on this that I really want to change because I think from the factory, they were missed. So let's get straight into the mods. Oh, and this car's also running a stage one tune from Mallory Performance, running 420 brake horsepower. So first on the list, and call me mad, but these cars should have came with this. Right here, they have canards, and the original wing mirrors were the same color as this, but modern day, well, a little bit younger than these, the actual next generation of one series had these in the same color, but for some reason they're chrome. So I've got some, I don't even know what the color, it's like a gold color. It's like a satin version of this. As you can tell, these are a bit dirty actually, but I also have black ones here. Now, I don't know which ones to choose. I think I want to go with the goldy colored ones just to kind of match it, but we have got a gloss black mirror cover, so I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments which ones you think I should have put on. I'm going to stick with the gold and see how they look, but let me know in the comments if you think the black ones would have looked a bit better. I'm not entirely sure. Now, the best ways to do these would probably be clean it off first, which I haven't done, which I will do. But chances are these are going to leave almost like a residue behind where the paint is discolored over the years. Just a little bit and you'll be able to tell exactly where that badge actually went. But if you don't want to do that and you don't want to risk it, just tape it up exactly where the badge is. Just go around it. So once you pull that off, you can take all the tape, remaining tape off and then you can just stick it straight back down. You could use anything like this little cheese wire rope sort of thing. You could probably use dental floss to get these off. They're not on that strong to be fair. If you've got hard enough fingernails, you could probably pull that off. So let's get this taped exactly where it's going. Like that, get your wire. And there you go. It's probably just quicker to pick the tape off and just place a new one on. So let's pick that off. Now, don't get me wrong, guys, picking this off probably isn't the best way of doing it. I would definitely recommend if you do have it, putting some solvent cleaner or tar and glue over the top because this does hurt your fingers after a while. Now, just polish that up. Just give it a little wig. I mean, a bit of residue underneath. It doesn't really matter so it's all covered just so it's not discolored. Then you can put your new badge on and wipe that off as well. First, don't leave that polish on there. Now, these are the original ones and then that is the matte new one, so. That should just go straight on now. So there you go. Can't really tell if you was to look at it, but the minimal things like that will make a difference. So let's quickly do the other side. Just like that. So let me know what you think about them. Do you think I should have gone black or do you like the color of them? Now, on to the next. <sighs> Looking at that, what do you think it is? It's these. It's these things right here. They needed to be black. So I am making them black today. Now, I get what BMW are trying to do. They're trying to separate the M lights, but why? Please explain. They should have been black. They just look so much better in black. Now, these can be a bit of a pain to get off because... People think you have to take off this entire unit to get off, but this does come off separately and you can, with a bit of fiddling and a bit of a steady hand, you can get that off. So we're gonna have a go now. 
Now you have to be very careful. You just need to get your trim tools in one of the ends and you can pull <clears throat> them out. And they will have tabs all around this, all up here. There should be quite a few. Now with a bit of, bit of fiddling, bit of fiddling and strategically pushing up tabs, you will be able to get this off. Oh, okay, it didn't break. I thought that broke. And I will prove that it didn't break because I will show you the tabs. Okay. Come in. That was easy. And let's have a look at the tabs, right? Perfect, perfect. What else we got? Perfect. All good. That one's fine. That one's good. That one's look at. No broken tabs as well. Absolutely immaculate. Bang. Now, if I get this one off, the exact same as that one without breaking any tabs, you have to subscribe to the channel. Now there is pressure on this now because I want you to subscribe and I don't want to damage this part. So I'm actually losing out massively now if I break one of these. So if I break one, you can click off the video and you can comment, call me an idiot and leave. But if I don't, we have to subscribe. Oh! Right, we're still in play, we're still in play. I'm gonna do exactly what I did to the other one. No, I'm not, exactly like that. Oh. <laughs> All the tabs, perfectly fine. You have to subscribe now. Go and subscribe. <laughs> now the next plan of action is how we're gonna get these black. Now I could paint them, but I'm not going to do that today because I wanna get this done quickly and I'm gonna wrap them gloss black. Now the wrap that I've got isn't the best and yes, don't worry, I'm gonna clean it properly. Isn't the best, so it might, not stretch all the way around in a big circle. I haven't got enough, a big enough piece to just lay down and cut it out. So I might have to do like a big strip and then leave it, like lose the line under here and then wrap this section because you won't actually see it as much because it'll be like, you'll be looking at it from this angle so you wouldn't actually see it. So we're gonna have a play, see what we can do here. Now before you sand it, yes, I have cleaned them. But what you can see there is a massive amount of stone chips. These are absolutely peppered. Oh God. I'm hoping that doesn't show through the wrap, but they are absolutely peppered with stone chips. So no, they're not dirty. They are clean. Now do not judge me on my wrapping capabilities because, oh, that was awful. Because I am not a professional vinyl wrapper, but I'm gonna at least try. So this probably is gonna take a while, so this might end up being a time lapse. Now, to my surprise, this wrap actually went down pretty well for something that was really, really cheap and that I literally had in my toolbox for months. It held up really, really well, and I was actually able to bend it around in that C shape, and it did actually turn out really, really nice for the quality of vinyl, and all it really took was to put some heat on there, and it went down an absolute treat. So there you have it, all wrapped, tucked away at the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this on now. It might be covering the tabs. That's gonna look so, so much better. Now, all you need to do to get this back in is do everything in reverse. Now, all your tabs should be exposed. Do not cover them with the wrap. Once you've done that, you should just be able to line up the tabs with its original place and just give it a good push, maybe a little bit of a tap and it should just go straight back in. Now that looks way better. They needed to go black. They're not even on that side, idiot. <laughs> but they look a lot better. And I will say, I think that's a decent job on the wrap as well. So I'm not gonna boy with the other side, I'm just gonna get that done and fling it on for you. But right, that one is all done now. And dare I say that one is actually better than the first one that I did, which is pretty good. But that is exactly how that should have looked from the factory. The gloss black looks way better. And that is another reason why I didn't paint them is because if they didn't look very good, I was gonna take the wrap off. And if I painted them, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So wrapping was probably the best option, but they look way, way better in gloss black. <laughs> Right, 
right onto the next one. Now, this next one isn't exactly a factory option that you would have been able to have, I don't think, and it shouldn't really be on this car, but they are a little gimmick piece, and it's for the wheels. It's these center caps, and these are just normal center caps, but I have some brand new weighted ones. So they essentially stay like that the whole time. They don't move with the wheel, they just stay like that, which is pretty cool. So let's quickly put these on. I'll show you the quickest way to get these off as well if you're doing this at home. So if you're trying to get these out at home, you could just get anything really, really sharp and small, like this pick, for example. Or if you have like a knife or a blade, you can just jam it in there and just essentially flick it out. That's the best way of getting in. So you can see you should put it in the side. You won't really damage the wheel as long as you're careful. No damage to the wheel. I know that's simple. Do that the whole way around. So we now have the gloss black canards, we have the chrome gold satin sort of M performance badge, I don't even know what they are, they're just satin gold badges. And we have these bad boys, let me know what you think of them three, do they suit the car, should they have been on the car from the factory, I think they should have, because BMW were just being stupid, they should have just put them on. I want you guys to do me a favour as well and put in the comments what you want to see on this car next. I'm thinking more towards wheels, suspension, spacers, maybe an exhaust, stuff like that, or maybe some interior bits. Drop it in the comments down below because I do want to know what you guys want to see so we can put out some more content that you enjoy for this car. Now, if you do want to see the journey we have already been on with this car, we have done plenty so far. Check it out on the channel. There is a playlist dedicated to this car. Now, as I said, if you want to see anything to do with this car, any sort of video, drop it in the comments because I do want to know. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you on Sunday at half five. I was trying to get some photos of the car on like an outro, but it started raining. So this is all you're going to get. Right, you can have that one. Oh, lovely. You can also have that one. Right, see you in the next video. Peace.